Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Miss Cassie here from the Orange Beach Public Library. Um, we've got some great stories for you today. I wanted to show you uh, before we get started um, my cool mask. So I have a, a few, but I want to show you this one because I'm wearing it right now, where I wear it around my neck when I'm not wearing it. And I pull it up. Isn't that cool? So I love wearing my mask. I have a few other ones, but if you come to the library, you'll see me wearing this one. Probably. I don't know. I have a couple others. But anyway, just wanted to show you all that for today to remind everyone that it is, you know, generally a good idea to wear a mask, even though I know it's hard. All right. So we are going to get started with our hello song. We say hello in American Sign Language like this. Hello. And then we say friends. We have one friend here and another friend here and give each other a hug. All right. The song goes like this. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good. You know, I just read a book about, um, it's kind of for older kids, but it's about a girl that is deaf, and it was so good, and I stayed up way too late reading, finishing it last night, and I can't wait for to recommend it whenever anybody comes in. It's called Show Me a Sign. It's very good. It's new. Um, it's a longer book. It's a chapter book, probably for kids about eight and up, I'd say. Um, anyway, today, oh wait, Rolly Poly, I almost forgot. Let's sing a Rolly Poly song. Put our hands and fists like this. The song's about opposites. We're going to go around in a circle. Rolly Poly, Rolly Poly, up, 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 up. Rolly, Rolly Poly, Rolly, Rolly Poly, down, 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 down. Very good, because the opposite of up is down. That's right. Let's do another one. Rolly poly, rolly poly, out, 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 out. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly, in, 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 in. Very good, because the opposite of out is in. That's right. Good morning, Poppy and Grams. It's my grandparents. They're here watching. All right, so today's stories are about bugs. Do you like bugs? I like some bugs. Some bugs are cool. Some bugs I don't like as much. But the stories we're going to read today are about some cool bugs. So the first one is called The Ant and the Grasshopper, and it's by Rebecca Emberly and Ed Emberly. Now, I love the Emberleys. Their um, illustrations, which... Do you remember what illustrations means? It means what the pi the pictures are like uh, collages with paper, so everything is kind of cut out, and you can sell, you can see as we read, you know, the different cutouts and stuff um, of all like paper that's cut out and glued together, which is a cool kind of art that I like to do. So this is the ant and the grasshopper. Somewhere on the boulevard of backyards, an ant was struggling with remnants of a picnic. The work was hard and she was weary. With a heavy sigh, she persevered, though each blade of grass seemed to thwart her on her hot and humid day. I simply cannot go another step, she thought to herself. What do you think that is? Can you tell? I think it might be a watermelon. You can see a seed right there, and maybe that's the, the rind right there. As she lifted her head in hopes of the smallest of breezes to cool her blistering forehead, she heard a sound, a wonderful magical sound, music. With a great heave, she shoved her sticky burden and moved in the direction of the sound.
Well, you might be able to see me. I'm looking at my phone right now. I'm going to stop this. <laughs> you might be able to see me. So I'm going to stop and restart our video. Uh, but I can't see. I, I thought that our video was done. So I'm going to stop. Or if anyone can see me, can you comment and tell me if you can see me? Because I can't see myself. So I'm going to restart it. I don't hear anything. It says I'm live. And yet, oh, you can see me. Oh, good. So you've seen me staring at my phone for the past minute? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to keep going then. Um, I just cannot see uh, myself. So we're going to just do our best. And so I don't know if I, if you can see the picture. I'm just going to try as hard as I can to make it look as clear as possible. So let's keep going with our ant and grasshopper. She came upon a grasshopper and his buggy band making music with complete abandon. The ant had never heard such a joyful noise. She smiled, which on an ant can look a little strange, and listened to the music, her antenna twitching to the beat. The weariness seems to leave her little ant body with every note they played. When the music stopped, the grasshopper called to her. Hey there, baby. Why don't you put down that big sticky thing and come groove with us? I wish I could, said the ant, already feeling a little guilty for stopping for such a long time. But I must get this back to my colony. My family be waiting for me. Hoisting her load a little higher, she said, thank you for your beautiful noise. It has made my heart much lighter. The band clickety clicked and chirped. They were so happy to have an audience. The grasshopper hit an F chord. We will play for you then, all the way back to your colony. Turning to his bandmates, he rasps, rasped, put on your walking shoes. We're hitting the road. The band was all abuzz. The Beatle was especially excited as he was the newest member of the band and had never been on the road before. The ant was home in no time, hardly noticing the heat or the heaviness in her load. You have made my job so much easier, she said. The mag your magical music moved me along. How can I ever repay you? The grasshopper thought for a moment. Well, baby, our music might be red hot, but we like to be cool. Sometimes it's hard to catch a break out there on the boulevard. The ant smiled her funky little smile. It's cool under the ground in our colony. Please come and share your music and we will have a party. Come on, everybody. We're going underground. Laissez le bon top roule means let the good times roll. I don't know if you can see this. So I'm just going to hold it around. And the music made everything brighter the end. Thank you to Neil Porter Books for letting us read this story today. Um, still can't see. So I think since I finished that story, I'm going to, hmm, what are we going to do to make this a little different? How about we just do our song cube? We're going to roll it. And we're going to see what song we sing. Um, all right. You know what this one is? It is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. You ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. Let's roll it again. Oh, zoom, zoom, zoom. So we start with zoom, zoom, zoom like this. 
Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Good job! Let's do another one. Ooh, this one. I'm a little teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Very good. All right, I have another story to read. And this is called, hopefully you can see it. Can you make a scary face? And it's by Jan Thomas. I love Jan Thomas books. She is the best and so, so silly, which is always fun. So this is our bug, see? Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Stand up. So everybody stand up. I can't stand up here or you won't be able to see me. So stand up. No, I changed my mind. Sit down. Everybody sit back down. Hmm. No, I changed my mind again. Stand up. Stand up, everybody. Okay, are you ready? Let's pretend. Pretend you have a tiny bug on your nose. Wiggle it off. Can you wiggle your nose? Hmm, it tickles. Wiggle your nose and laugh. <laughs> Whoops, the tiny tickly bug flew into your mouth. <gasps> Blow it out. Come on. <sighs> Wait, the tiny tickly bug is out of your mouth, but now it's on your shirt. Oh, the only way to get it out is to do the chicken dance. Can you dance like a chicken? Quack, quack. I mean, quack, quack. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> Dance faster! You faster, 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 faster! The tiny tickly bug is stuck in your shirt! Oh, no! Don't worry. Pretend there's a giant hungry frog coming to eat that tickly bug stuck in your shirt. Uh-oh. There really is a giant hungry frog. Scare him away. We have to scare him away. Help. Make a scary face now. Can you make a scary face? Make a scary face. Yikes. Not that scary. Oh, your scary face was too scary. Oh no, wait up, giant hungry frog. I'm still scared. The end. Thank you to Simon and Schuster for letting us read this story today. I love Jane Thomas. There's lots of other very silly ones. All right, so since I still can't see, hi, Steven. Uh, we are going to sing our last song. Um, and it goes like this If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Sorry there's been a little bit of a technical difficulty today and there was a little pause, but hopefully you'll able, you were able to see, even though I can't see. Um, a reminder, we have our grab-and-go bags uh, available this week. They are crowns, making crowns um, with our bags. Um, so stop by and keep doing all your great reading, and I will see you next time. Bye!